Hey Saints, how's it going today? Just before I get into this video, I want to read to you from Psalm 100 verse 4. It says, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. This should be the heart attitude of all of God's children. And he's a great God, you know. We we are thankful unto him, because he's given, given us his only begotten son. That we're forgiven, that we have eternal life now. And that we're going to be in heaven with the King of Glory forever and ever and ever. And he gives us so much more than that too, here on earth. You know, the food we eat, the roof over our head. You know, great brothers and sisters in the Lord. We have every reason to praise him. And it makes me really angry, and I'm sure the Lord really angry too, that there are false teachers out there that try to keep people from the truth of God's word that try to keep them even from entering into salvation and this false teacher which I'm sure you're already aware by the name of the title is he calls himself Justice Jan Boshoff also known as Final Call 07 and he posted this ridiculous comment a couple of days ago let me just read it to you friend the Bible is not the history of creation our earth is only a tiny speck in the universe. The Bible does not have the answers. It has more questions than answers. The wisdom and knowledge comes from God. He knows all mysteries. And if we need wisdom, we must ask from him. Jesus is and knows all the answers. That is why we must ask from him. May Jesus bless you. This man just continually keeps trying to keep people from the truth of God's word and replaces it with lies and mysticism, telling people to go and listen to a voice. But Yah never says to test this voice against the Bible. Now, I know Jesus can talk to people and show them things, but it will always line up 100% with the Word. And 90% of what Yah says does not line up with the Word. He might say sin is wrong, okay, that's right. But everything else he says is just a pack of lies. Now, to make people um, doubt that, uh, the, well, he, he's saying the Bible is not the history of creation. Now, I'm going to prove him wrong once again by reading from the Bible. Now, the trouble is a lot of his followers don't believe that the Bible is actually God's word. So they chuck this away and just listen to a voice. And if the voice tells them uh, the Bible doesn't contain the history of creation, they're going to believe that. But anyway... I'm going to read to you from uh, Genesis, um, starting from chapter 1. I'm going to read a couple of verses. Just, just to prove this man is an outright liar that nobody should listen to him. But I'm sure people still will because they're that totally and utterly demon possessed and deceived that. But that's what they want. It's not what God's want. God's given them the truth. If they don't want it, well, God will let them believe the lie and be damned forever to the lake of fire. Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness, and God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. Okay, that definitely sounds like a bit of creation history there, doesn't it? Followers of Jan Boshoff. Let's go down to uh, Genesis 14. So, one fourteen, the word says, And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years, and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to and the lesser light to rule the night. He also so he made the stars also. So we have a pretty thorough account here. Now I've only read uh, part of the book of Genesis. It also goes into God creating the animals and man and plants, um, but it, but it's there. Um, the the account of the creation of the universe. So how can Jan Boshoff say, friend, the Bible is not the creation, so it's not the history of creation. When it is the history of creation, amongst other things like God's plan of salvation, which is the most important, obviously. And, but um, 
people believe this liar, you know, and this is not the only lie he's told. Why do people still listen to this man? Why do people listen to him? I've proven right now he's a blatant, outright liar. He talks against the word of God. He, he, he's like Satan says um, to Eve, thou shalt not surely die. When God said you would die. You know, it's, the Bible says this is the creation account. And Yahweh says, oh, no, it's not. You know, he is of his father, the devil. He's doing the exact same thing that Satan does, making people doubt God's word. And people believe him. Anyway, I pray this has woken somebody up. Just to show, just to show what a satanic, demon-possessed liar that he is. So, I really pray somebody gets saved. And no longer listens to this wicked, hell-bound false prophet. May God bless you all.